Good evening, friends. Um, well past uh, my bedtime, actually. But uh, any time is poetry time, and especially Obona Chatterjee time. Uh, uh, this poet, uh, more than uh, amazing me, always ends up inspiring me. Inspiring me from a spiritual front and inspiring me from uh, 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 the front of a, uh, uh, a citizen, a citizen of a country where uh, there are many inequalities and uh, I really admire her courage to pen down things uh, which I, I personally find to be very uh, relevant and uh, very pertinent to our daily, routine, social and dare I say national lives which unfortunately are not factored anywhere uh, and unfortunately do not figure anywhere in the manifestos or anywhere on the priority list unfortunately of uh, our mainstream political parties. Uh, it is a lament and uh, hopefully this would get corrected in the near course of future because there is always hope and uh, democracy li lives on hope. The first poem that I choose to, choose to read written by this brilliant poet is titled Poor and Sick. A very short poem, but a unique poem written in her own style, which I have come to like and dare I say love. I pour and you sip. I pour and you sip. I pour and I wonder when you'll pour and I'll sip. Oporna Chatterjee. The other poem that I have chosen to read is titled The News Headlines. Where were you, God? Where were you, God? When those six devils were brutalizing that hapless woman for over two and a half hours. Where were you, God? Were you watching from the heavens above and waiting for us to believe? Were you watching from the heavens above and waiting for us to believe? To err is human and to forgive is divine. Okay, let's keep practicing and preaching such meaningless, pointless politics in our temples, mosques and churches so that all such criminals are freed and forgiven to gain, to again commit such heinous crimes that hawk the news headlines. Heart-rendering poem, hitting the nail on the head. Courageous poem by Oporna Chatterjee. And I would read out what she has uh, annotated. Written after hearing that the Delhi gang rape victim's ordeal lasted for a long time in that moving night bus and ultimately when she was thrown out of it, she had screamed in profuse, she had screamed in profusely bleeding pain that her rapist should be burnt alive, not just hanged, so that, sh so that so that they could go through the same searing, stinging pain they had inflicted all over her body.
The third poem that I choose to read is titled Ease. The ease with which they keep hurting their women is the ease with which they keep writing about protecting them. The ease remains the same. So does all the writing and the hurting. This masquerading cycle keeps going on and on. Why? Because some hypocrites never change their ways. They make sure hypocrisy prevails. Oporna Chatterjee. Thank you so very much, Oporna Chatterjee, for having the courage to write such brilliant poems and more importantly, to stand up. That is the key, to stand up. Because most of us, despite having a vertebral column, have forgotten to stand up. And I salute you for it. Thank you for being a liberated human. Thank you.